What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the next episode of the Digital Marketing Agency Builders Podcast. Today is going to be a special episode. It's just going to be me. It's going to be short. It's going to be quick. It's going to be to the point. Uh, we are now into December, and this episode is called Four Ways to Drive Revenue into Your Agency Heading into 2022. Okay. So if you're looking to squeeze some of the juice out of your pipeline uh, and get some more revenue in before the start of the new year, listen up, this episode is going to be for you. So we're going to go rapid fire here. There's going to be four uh, strategies I'm going to talk about here uh, in detail. So starting off with number one, we have offer holiday specials. Guys, uh, I cannot say this enough. Specials, uh, offers, discounts, deals, um, drive revenue. They do it very, very well. And they allow you to target three specific uh, sectors of your leads. Okay. So I'm going to go through that first. The first sector that you want to go after is your old pipeline. So these are people that you've been talking to um, for, you know, one month, two months, six months, over a year, right? They're sitting in your CRM system. Uh, and for whatever reason, uh, they chose to go with another agency or they just didn't close for whatever reason, right? Well, now when you have a deal uh, like Black Friday happened recently, or now we're coming up on the new year, which is another great um, time to offer deals at the end of you know the holiday season, which would be Christmas, New Year's, um, you can call them a holiday deal reach out to those old pipeline deals, the people that didn't actually convert uh, or chose another agency and let them know, you know, hey, John, I know uh, we didn't get to work together earlier this year because, you know, our, our fees were a little too high for you. So I wanted to reach out to you and let you know uh, we do have a holiday special right now and we'd be able to provide uh, that same strategy that we talked about before, but at an even better cost. Um, so I definitely thought about you wanted to, um, you know, reach out and shoot you an email. You, know, you can send this out in email, you can send this out in text, uh, and you'll get plenty of biters, guys, and you'll be able to basically clear out your CRM system by offering that last chance deal um, to get them over the line, and you'll get a ton of book calls from this. So the first sector of um, you know leads that you want to go after with these deals that you do are going to be your old pipeline. The next sector is going to be new leads. So these are people that are currently booking into your um you know, booking into your sales funnel um, and talking with you uh, as a new customer, uh, because what it does is it creates massive urgency in their buying process. So you say, you know, you, you do the normal two call close process, you talk to them, uh, go through the discovery process, you go back to your team, you build the strategy, and then you go to them um, in that second call and you let them know, you know, the strategy, the pricing, and you let them know what the pricing would have been if they booked in any other week. And you let them know how awesome it is that they just so happen to book in uh, to speak to your agency during your annual holiday special. And you let them know that you're able to give them, you know, a thousand dollars off of their setup fee uh, if they, you know, act on the deal before the end of the year, right? Um, so it incentivizes and, and encourages, you know, action takers with your new leads. It helps clear out, uh, you know, old pipeline deals uh, as well. And then, and then finally, the third bucket uh, or third sector of your leads that you're able to go after with these deals are going to be your existing customers. So existing happy customers uh, that you want, um, you know, to offer upgrades to or cross sells, upsells. Like this is. Um, you know, this year during Black Friday, that was probably where, um, you know, 50% or more of our holiday deals came from was existing clients that we either upgraded um, in our agency or offered an additional service to uh, at a, you know, Black Friday price. And you can do that same deal or you can do that same setup with um, the holiday deals as well. Um, and just reaching out to, you know, your existing happy customers and letting them know, hey, you know, I know we talked, you know, a few months ago about, you know, launching a new website and re-updating the website after we got the ads running. Well, hey, ads are running now uh, and we're actually offering $1,000 off our website deals this week. I thought about you and, um, you know, our conversation that we had a few months ago and thought it might be a good time to reach out to you about this. Uh, and it is just, you know, especially with happy customers, it is just an easiest, the easiest sell possible, reaching out to them and getting those low hanging fruit. So again, uh, offer a holiday special, reach out to everyone in your uh, existing old pipeline that, you know, didn't close, reach out to all of your, you know, let the deal, let, let your new leads in on the deal uh, that are booking into your funnel right now. Uh, and then also uh, reach out to your existing happy customers uh, and offer them uh, an additional service at your new holiday special price. Guys, that is going to drive a ton of revenue into your agency um, for the holiday season. 
Number two, emphasize 2022 targets and goals on your sales calls. So now we're back to talking about new leads coming into your pipeline. What you want to do with them is you want to dreamscape uh, with them about their targets coming up in the next year and, and where did they fall short in 2021, right? So right now, you know, marketing managers, CMOs, you know, they're all, um, or even just, you know, founders, entrepreneurs with a smaller team, they're all thinking about what they're going to be able to do in 2022. Uh, and they're mapping out their next year right now. And as an agency, if you can get in, in this month and start building with them, uh, then you can be an integral part of that 2022 plan. And you absolutely want that. You really want to get in on that. Um, because it just instills you within to their, into their plan, into their budget, uh, and into their minds uh, as they're growing their business, hopefully with you. So you definitely want to get in there and dreamscape with them on your sales calls. Um, you'll want to pitch um, you know, the, your marketing plan essentially uh, to them when you're talking about strategy in that call number two that you have with them. Um, you want to basically pitch your version of what you think you can do for them in 2022 and you know oftentimes you'll be pitching to the cmo or you're pitching to the marketing manager or like i said earlier you'll be pitching to directly the entrepreneur just start mapping out what you think their marketing can do for 2022 and uh, not necessarily just you know the normal three-month window um and then finally uh, when you're talking in these uh and emphasizing these 2022 targets also mention, uh, and this is a fantastic angle and it works every single year around this time, um, that if they choose to go with you and they close before the end of the year, uh, then your entire fee is a 2021 write-off, which they, you know, tax time uh, is coming up here in just a few short months. Uh, and they're going to be looking for every write-off they can possibly, you know, add to their list um, to make their tax burden uh, less. So, you know, a big agency fee uh, is going to be something that they can absolutely write off. So um, if they wait into the next year, then they're not going to be able to use that write off until 2023. Um, and so it, it's a huge incentive to take action now. Right. All right. Moving along. That's number one is holiday offer holiday specials. Number two, emphasize 2022 targets and goals. Uh, number three, incentivize action takers. Guys, this works year round. Uh, and I just had to throw it in here. Um, there is so much, uh, <laughs> there's so many reasons that people put in their head to drag their feet on taking action and actually doing something and moving forward. Um, one of the reasons is that they're just being pitched so many offers constantly uh, and they're talking with other agencies and they want to get, you know, a proposal from this one and a proposal from that one. And they, they want to just, you know, sit on all this information and basically, uh, you know, not take any action. A lot of them get paralyzed. Um, I call it an uh, analysis paralysis. Uh, and what you want to do as the agency owner and as the seller of, um, or, or as a salesperson, uh, you know, at your agency, you want to be able to get them to take action. Uh, and so what you can do is offer fast action incentives. Now, this can come in the form of a fast action discount, um, you know, $1,000 off your setup fee, $500 off your setup fee, or fast action bonus items like websites, social media marketing, um, content management, you can throw in extra things if they take action before X time. Now, uh, with my agency, we offer um, a 24 hour fast action bonus. So if um, once the offer is delivered, um, if they accept that offer and move forward within 24 hours, then we'll give them the fast action incentive. Um, with us, it's typically um, a, uh, monetary incentive. So it's, you know, uh, you know, a fast action discount off of their actual package, but fast action bonus items work really well as well. There are a lot of clients out there who, um, you know, they want paid ads, but they have a really crappy website, right? And so you can offer them a, th a free website refurb or a free new website um, if they act within 24 hours to go along with their paid ad strategy. And that is a massive deal. And it's very uh, incentivizing for to take action with your team over someone else's team. So uh, number three is going to be incentivize action takers. Number four, our last stop here on the four ways to drive revenue into your agency heading into 2022 is going to be explain the start time versus results time. This one's huge because um, a lot of times people just think that they can hire the agency and uh, that they'll just magically start getting results right away. 
they don't take into consideration that there is a, a setup time, right? So if you're running paid ads, at least two weeks to get into the ad account, clear out the old ads, upload all the new creative, all the new copy, get everything approved from the client uh, and live, uh, right? So typically about two weeks to get all that done. Um, and then once they go live, the ads go live, the testing process is just get started, right? So you're now looking at, you know, several weeks beyond that where you're just testing. So if you're taking calls right now in the month of December for, um, you know, businesses that are looking to get started quick and they want to get quick results, you need to make it clear to them that even if you sign the papers today, there's still a two week setup period. And then you're going to go to another, you know, month testing period where we're going to be testing creatives, we're going to be testing copy, we're going to be testing targeting, right? Before we find, you know, the things that are working the best and are able to start scaling them. So the goals and targets that we're talking about today are not going to be achieved by, you know, overnight, these things take time to build up to. So if you're interested in getting 2022 started off well and started off quickly, uh, then you need to start now so that we can get starting building in December so that you can start making revenue in January. Because if you wait until January and sit on this uh, and we start in January, then you're not really gonna start generating revenue into or until February, right? And so, we don't want we don't want you to lose an entire month of 2022. So the sooner that they start, the sooner that they can get through your setup process and the testing process, and actually get into uh, the goals and targets that they laid out with you uh, in the discovery call and that call number one, right? So number one, so the four ways. So I'm going to run through them again really quickly. The four ways to drive revenue for your agency heading into 2022, guys. As we sit here in December, uh, one offer holiday specials. Um, and guys, if you're listening to this and it's in January or, or beyond, you're totally fine. This stuff uh, is valuable throughout the full year. And it also, uh, the same information is going to be really valuable for you again at the end of 2022 uh, and, and every year of looping back and back around. It's like Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas. It never gets old. It always works. So keep listening. Number one, offer holiday specials, incentivize uh, people. Uh, in your uh, old pipeline and, uh, you know, give people new leads in your pipeline deals uh, and give deals to your existing customers to uh, upsell and cross sell them uh, during holiday specials. Number two, emphasize 2022 targets and goals on your sales calls, dreamscape with them about how they're going to hit their targets in 2022 um, and angle the tax write off. If they close before January 1, they can write off your full fee uh, as a marketing expense for their business, right? And, and businesses that are generating a lot of revenue, uh, they literally, you're, I mean, you're essentially free. They were going to have to pay the tax man that money anyway, and now they're not having to pay the tax man that money, uh, and they're getting your value for that in place. So uh, it is a huge uh, incentive to remind them of the tax benefits of hiring you as a business expense. Um, Number three, incentivize action takers. This can come in two forms, fast action discounts and fast action bonus items like websites, you know, a, a thrown in social media package. Um, and then number four, explain startup, uh, you know, setup time versus results time. Uh, if you sign on the paper today, we're not going to get, you know, into results uh, and, and getting your C in meeting those CPA targets that you laid out uh, and hitting those revenue targets that you laid out until, you know, at least a few months from here. So we're going to have to get going now uh, to incentivize fast action. That one's good evergreen all year round, whether you sign someone up in July or you sign someone up in December, that one is, you know, always good. Number three, the action takers, that's always good. Um, number two and number one are more December focused, but guys, uh, driving action is your number one goal as a salesperson or as a person taking calls. So uh, if you're listening to this and you have a, a sales closer, give this episode to your sales closer so they can listen to it as well. Uh, if you're taking calls for your agency, uh, listen to this episode again uh, and utilize all four of these things uh, and close some more deals this month and heading into 2022. That's it for today's episode, guys. I will see you in the next one. And I'll also see you in the Facebook group. Don't forget, we have the Digital Marketing Agency Builders Facebook group on Facebook where there's tons of content. I'm always dropping, you know, free uh, new documents and, and free new lists, all types of free, uh, you know, giveaways and all types of stuff in there for agency owners. 
uh, that you can learn how to you know rapidly build uh, and scale your digital marketing agency as we head into 2022 guys see you on the next episode